Hello, hello, everyone. It is good to be back. <clears throat> I know it's been a while, but... Hey. Like I said, def you can definitely ignore the uh, the once daily, but I am uh, slowly, slowly coming up with more ideas, topics, directions I want to go in, people I'm even going to be bringing on. I have already talked to two people. One I got for sure... Uh, He's a, he's a Protestant. He's not a Catholic, but he is a Bible-believing, um, Jesus-loving Christian. And I think we're going to have some great dialogue coming up on the channel. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted a few topics I wanted to go over today just because, uh, especially this first one's just, I mean, wild. I've never heard anything like it. Um, so in the traditional movement in the Catholic Church, there's a, uh, prominent priest, uh, his name is Father James Altman, and, uh, I'll be honest, I like a lot of his work, I, I like a lot of his takes, like I, I've mentioned before, I, um, uh, I side with the traditionalist more time than not, although I don't really consider myself one. I do adore the tradition of the Catholic Church, and I think it should be respected and upheld by all means. Um, so that's my stance on that. And, and Dr. Taylor Marshall has played a huge role in uh, helping me rediscover my faith, the faith. Um, but then again, uh, looks like Bishop Athanasius Schneider, who another... Uh, a bishop in the same same realm as Father James Altman um, had a response, and uh, you know, it was appropriate. But I really didn't want to get into that part. I wanted to talk about what I felt about it. Um, pope Francis is the pope. I believe he's the pope. Um, you know. I have plenty of opinions about him, and uh, he's very unclear and ambiguous on a, many topics, and even, uh, I think even more moderate, lukewarm Catholics can see that, um, let alone the traditionalists or conservative-minded. At minimum, I'm conservative. Um, so that's probably why I align with the traditionalists a lot, but I attend Novus Ordo Mass. Um, but yeah, um, to just come out so and say that so emphatically and, and authoritatively that you don't believe that Bergoglio is the Pope is... It doesn't look good for our, our side of the movement. Um, that, and that makes me question, you know, Father Altman's true intentions. Does he really believe in the cause or is he potentially just playing a role to potentially further this, I'm not going to use the S word, um, division that is beginning to more and more make itself evident in the church and in culture as a whole. These things overlap. This this culture war and this battle within the Catholic Church and other branches of Christianity, these are two sides of the same coin and they are very important. That's why it's so annoying when you got pompous like Barack Obama who comes out and says, calls us, uh, oh, the fake culture warriors for the, the, the phony, phony culture war. Like, yeah, it's phony to you because Barack Obama and people that think like him, they don't, they don't view, uh, morality objectively which in and of itself is a contradiction 
because they'll at the same time they'll say, uh, "Oh, uh, Catholic pro-lifers just want to uh, oppress and control women," which is obviously untrue. We we love women and we love Holy Mary, the mother of the bre- mother of God, but. Where I was going was, they don't believe in moral objectivity, yet they will accuse others, us, conservatives, right-wingers, traditionalists, of being immoral. So it's just so tiresome and so disingenuous and so deceptive and deceitful, but yeah, uh... Father Altman, what the heck, man? God bless you. I'll pray for you. We'll pray for your conversion. Um, I I feel like you should know better. Father, you should know better. Pray on it. Go to confession. And just uh, continue to, to fight. But be in this fight for good reasons, Father Altman, because we're all counting on each other. Um, moving on from that, I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, 